Some of the items in these cases inside the Papillion Public Library were donated anonymously by a longtime Papillion resident. Classic Valentine's cards that date back to the first part of the 20th century. These over here are like uh, 1915 to 1920. Then we just added a few things to make it more Valentine. Uh, the album has never been used on the bottom shelf there. Oh, really? Yeah, so now we're trying to think of what we can put in it. And that's another item that's more than 100 years old. 1915, somewhere in there. It could be even older because I remember my family having one that went back to the 1900s. So. And we have, one over, we have one over at the house that's probably 1800s. The level of detail in these cards really is remarkable, from the pop-out images to the vibrant colors to these little horses. The little horses we thought were so cute. But they go back, I don't know how far they go back, but early 1900s, I think, probably. The Papillion Area Historical Society also includes some details about how and when and where Valentine's Day started. I think just how old Valentine's Day really is and how much, how much or more elaborate the Valentines were. Some of the items are pretty close to Shirley as well. It, those two little ones I sent to my aunt and uncle when I was five years old and then she kept everything yeah. and sent it back to me. And gave them back to you? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And then um, you saved them. And then I, well, I, I'm in the historical Say, society. Yes, <laughs> the doll is a gift from my birthday one year when I was about seven. That was your doll? That was my doll, yes. She's a Betsy Wetsy, and you give her the, her bottle of water and she wets. The Valentine's display will stay up for a while before it's changed over later in the spring. It'll be around Papillion days, so I think what we're going to look for are some Papillion items that have from, from different businesses and whatever that have been donated to us and just show off Papillion a little bit. For Papillion Now, I'm Michael Severe.